All right, guys, so here it is. We're going inside right now. This is our hotel. It's called Hotel Luna. Uh, a lot of history to this one. It was built like 200 years ago. It was built by a man who built it for his daughter. Uh, we're gonna go take a look inside this hotel, guys. Wait till you see our room. This place is beautiful. Yeah. All right, Serena. So, we're actually staying here in Hotel Luna. Okay. It is uh, pretty much a few walks to the center of the, the famous Crisologo Road and one of the busiest roads here in Vigan. Okay. Okay, before we check out the room, do you want to just show the pool outside? So guys, this is a great hotel, as much as we've had like, not the greatest experience in the city. Uh, this hotel was very accommodating. Um, we'll show you guys what they've got out here. So, it's all like open concept. So these are all like the basic rooms. We're in like a presidential suite. We'll show you guys soon. But, uh, so yeah, so outside, they've got a beautiful pool. Uh, nice seating. There's a bar right over here. Um, there's actually also a rooftop terrace. We're not going up to though. We might go up tonight. We might go up tonight, but uh, yeah, prices are up there. I mean, uh, I can't get my red horse for 80 pesos right here. Actually, they don't even serve red horse here. So whatever it is what it is. We're kind of in an upscale part of the Philippines. Serena, you're gonna do the honors for the room. For sure. So let's do it. Check out our huge door, guys. This is nuts. All right, Serena. Come on in. Come on in. All right, Serena. Can you take us for a little tour around here? For sure. So what room are we in right here? Okay, this is uh, what we call the loft suite. Okay. And we are actually in the second floor. This one is just our living room. Living room. Okay. Very comfy living room. <laughs> Zarina's like all clustered. That. Zarina actually didn't even want to like lie on the couch or nothing till we did this video. We checked in last night. She didn't even want to sleep in the bed or nothing. Like we're just really not used to this style. Well, this time we're just gonna sleep here. So this is Chris' spot <laughs> and this is my spot for sleeping. Yeah, we haven't sit on, sat on uh, chairs like this or let alone, um, yeah had a room like this in a long time. Super cool guys, check out the air conditioning up there. It is nuts. Never seen an air come like that. The moldings. Can you take us to the bathroom? Sure. Yeah. So, this is our huge bathroom. And we have our bubble bath tub. <laughs> Deep bubble bath tub. Deep check that out, that's tub. crazy, okay. We have a very advanced technology toilet. Okay, tell us about the toilet here. What's so special um, about it's this It's very thing? special because it has so many buttons here for you to use okay. to wash the private parts. <laughs> we've seen this in Japan. The only time else we've seen this, uh, we've seen this in Japan, correct? Yes, that's right. Yeah, we haven't seen it in the Philippines yet. Um, okay, very nice. Very nice place, guys, the sink. The, the sorry sink. for our mess here. Like I said, we checked in last night. Uh, let's check out the shower, guys. So we again, have the rain beautiful, shower. Yeah, beautiful rain shower. Came with a whole bunch of soaps over there, guys. Very clean. We're very surprised. This is all marble, guys. These are marble tiles. Like, uh, yeah, we'll tell you the price about this room after and how we actually got this this room. So, you want to show us upstairs? Yeah. All right. And just look at the details of our stairs. Yeah. Uh, it has a touch of the Spanish. Um, Spanish culture. Spanish culture. Okay. And this is our king size bed. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. Very cool, guys. Hotel, Hotel Luna. Here. Beautiful, beautiful spot. I mean, uh, and we got another TV up here, which is awesome. Check out the moldings, guys. Like, whew, the chandelier in the room. We actually have another bathroom up here on the top floor. Uh, same style, Japanese style toilet with the the bidet. The bidet. <laughs> like the French. Uh, the bidet. Beautiful, beautiful. So, 
we booked the two king size rooms. So we had king size bed in each room, one for my mom, one for us. We got here, only one king size room was available and they said we had to take a queen size, uh, two queen size beds in a room. And I wasn't having that, that wasn't right because we paid for the king size bed. So I hate doing it, but I had to get kind of aggressive. I had to uh, speak up, speak loud, ask for the manager, complain, blah, blah, blah. Not complain, you just had a rough night and you want a king size bed. I'm not playing that game here, especially for the prices of these rooms. The basic rooms were 5,000 pesos per night. Uh, so I wasn't playing that. So long story short, they upgraded us to a room that was over 10,000 pesos a night, <laughs> which was this one. So roughly $250 Canadian a night, 10,000 pesos a night. We got this for two nights. Uh, for nothing so that's what happens when you complain that's what happens when you put your foot down um, again this hotel is owned by a very very large cooperative very large corporation out of based out of Manila so it's not like this was privately owned and someone was you know upset about us taking this room so we put our foot down guys we got an amazing room we're not too happy with vegan city we're heading back to Sagata tomorrow morning we're out of here ASAP we're going back to the nature back to some more hiking, back to not having TVs and expensive restaurants to keep us busy. Uh, yeah, it is what it is, guys. Thanks for watching this video. We hope you loved it. Peace and love, Parasols. See you in Sagata. Bye. Peace.